Blessed morning, blessed morning, blessed morning, blessed morning, blessed morning. Glory be unto God. It is a beautiful, beautiful Friday, Christmas Eve. And we are grateful to God this morning for being alive and being in the land of the living. What an awesome and mighty God that we serve. So I just want to play some music this morning as we begin to have our morning encouragement. Blessed morning, Auntie Shetley. God bless you. Thank you for joining for this is the day that the Lord he has made. I shall rejoice and I shall be glad in it. Blessed morning, Auntie Sophie. God bless you. Uh, we thank you for joining. I got some some something in, in my head. I can't pause the video. We ain't on TV yet. Uh, but blessed morning, everyone. God bless you. And I pray that this song blesses you. Uh, it is not a Christmas song. Love you too. Uh, but it is a song about our King. And I, I, this dropped in in my spirit as soon as I, I sat down to begin the live. And it's a familiar song, uh, but I want to play it this morning. I don't have much to bring. My heart's so Take me to the king. This morning I ask that as you join the live, please share. Please share, tag someone to the live. Yes, yes, Lord. I'm trying to pray. I'm trying to pray. But where are you? But where are you? I'm all churched out. I'm all churched out. Hurt and abused. Yes, yes. I can't play. Bless morning, man of God, Minister Sean, my husband. God bless you this morning. Thank you for joining. As you come in, please just share the live. I have not done that myself. No string to cry. Yes, yes. No tears to cry. No tears to cry. Even if I tried. Even if I tried. But still my soul yes. refuses to die. Mm -hmm. One touch will change my life. Who needs to go to the king take this morning? Ah, king. take me to the king. Tag someone that you know needs to go to the king this morning. I don't have much to bring. My heart is torn into pieces. Here's my offering. Lay me at the throne. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, take me to the king. Please tag, tag, share. Truth is it's time. Yes, truth is time. To stop playing these games. To stop playing these games. We need a word for the people's pain. So love us be right now, let it pour like rain. Oh yes, let it pour like rain. We need you this morning. We're desperate. We're chasing after you. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Ah. No rules, no religion. I've made my decision to run to you. The healer that I need. Take me to the king. I don't have much to bring. My heart is torn in pieces. Is my offering? Yes, Lord. Lay me at the throne. Yes, leave me there alone to gaze upon. Yes, yes. Bless us this morning, God. Yes, God. Yes, we keep making mistakes. Yes, yes. The Lord is not for us. It's all for you. Yes. Take me to the 
king. Yes. I don't have much to bring. I don't have much to bring. My heart's torn to pieces. My heart is torn to pieces. It's my offering. Lay me at the throne. Leave me there. I want to gaze upon your glory, God. And sing to you this song. Yes, yes, yes. Take me to the king. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, take me to the king. Yes, yes, yes. Take me to the king. Blessed morning, blessed morning, Sister Brenda. God bless you. Uh, God bless you to everyone that has joined this morning, Sister Denise. God bless you. Everyone that is on the line this morning, if I did not call your name out, please do not charge it to my heart. Uh, sometimes I don't see everyone that is on, uh, but I ask that you just share the live this morning. Uh, I, I wanted to come this morning and despite of uh, all the obstacles that have been faced this morning to get to the morning encouragement, uh, I just want to come and just wish, first of all, I want to give honor to God because God is good. And this is a season uh, uh, to celebrate the life of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, this is a season to, to look over our lives and understand where God has brought us from and how he's kept us. Uh, many people confuse this time to, to go out and buy gifts. Yes, that's nice, but it's very important for us to continue to understand that this is the celebration of our king, uh, the one who died on Calvary for us. So this morning, I simply want to just encourage you to know that God is our joy. God is our strength. God is our way maker, our provider. He is all that we need. But we have to know that God is who he says that he is. God is one that reveals himself to us very gently the way that we need him to. He comes and, 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 and he does not impose himself on us, but he allows us to let him enter in. Uh, he, he, he doesn't uh, pretend to be one way and then once you've accepted him, he turns into something else. Uh, the one thing I love about our God is he is the same then, now, and forever. So as we celebrate this season, I, I, I encourage you, to rejoice that a savior he lives because when they crucified him on the cross, yes, this is the celebration of his birth. But when he rose from the grave, he received eternal life with his father. They crucified him. They whipped him. They, they beat him. They, they lied on him. They, they spit on, they did everything imaginable, but because he lives, because he was born, I can face tomorrow. You can face tomorrow. So I come to simply encourage you today that the joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. So in despite of how it seems, in despite of what may be going on right now in your life, in despite of how they say you're not going to make it, in despite of how they treat you, in despite of how they come against you, in despite of how it may seem, the joy of the Lord is your strength. And, and the scripture says that the weeping that you endure for a night, God's joy comes in the morning. I, I, I keep hearing, you know, and I sing sometimes too. Uh, it says, it's the most wonderful time of the year. I don't wait for one moment of the year to get excited. Uh, uh, every day that God allows us to wake up should be the most wonderful time of the year. Because when God allowed us to walk in the land of the living, there were many that didn't get the opportunity. So every day should be the most wonderful 
wonderful time of the year because we have our Savior, Jesus Christ. And because he lives, we can face tomorrow. Do you know that God allows us sometimes to be in uncompromising positions and situations because he is there to strengthen us? And yes, it hurts. And, and yes, it doesn't feel the greatest. And, and yes, it seems like it's just too much to bear. But the joy of the Lord is our strength. Some people may ask you, how do you smile in despite of what you went through? Because it's not my joy. It is the joy of the Lord. How do you get through what you've been going through and still stand upright? It is because it is the joy of the Lord that is my strength. The weeping that I endured, it only endured for a night because his joy, it came in the morning. So we have to stand on the word of God and know that God's word, it would never return unto him void. Uh, you know, I, I thank God for all that he's done. Jesus is the season, is the reason, I'm sorry, for this season. And when we understand and trust and believe in the promises of God, uh, not what our eyes see. I had a conversation with God this morning and I said, God, I know what you said, but you're going to have to get me through this one because I can't do this without you. We have to have a heart that says, God, I don't want to do this without you. I can't do this without you. God, I need you to guide me along this path. And no, he'll do just that. So today, people of God, I wish you a very Merry Christmas. And I also wish you to trust in God and know that God's joy is your strength. That God's peace, it surpasses all understanding. Yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we'll fear no evil. Why? Because God is with us. So when it seems like all is lost and everyone has left your side and it seems like there's no one there, know that God has never left you. He'll never leave nor forsake you or have your seed to beggar bread. So as you go off and you spend time with your family, make sure that you first exalt the name of the Lord. Because without him, where would we be? I think about how the angel Gabriel came to Zacharias and, and told him that he was getting ready to uh, uh, have a son. And, and Zachariah was in doubt because he was in old age. But in its appointed time, by a blessed morning to you, Sister Andrea, God bless you. Uh, Gabriel told him, I, I have to place a dumb spirit on you. I, I have to seal your mouth because you can't speak against what is getting ready to happen because it is its appointed time to take place. I'm paraphrasing. Uh, and, and, and here's the thing. Sometimes we just have to learn how to just be quiet. Because God is working it out. Yes, it's stressful. Yes, it's frustrating. But you know what? God can fix it. Because his joy, it says late in the midnight hour, God turning it around. He's working in your favor. So understand that what God is doing for you is for you. So be encouraged today and know that the weeping that you're enduring, it only endures for a night. Trust God. Trust God and know that he will provide, that he will make a way, that he will do what he said he would do. Because God is not a God that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. So as you go throughout this day, pray for those that do not have. Pray for those that are in need, those who, who need homes and who don't have food. And Even though your situation may not seem the greatest, trust me, there's someone that is doing a whole lot worse than you. So today I just say, stand with me and pray for those that are less fortunate, for those that are struggling, 
And I don't necessarily mean financially. Some people struggle in other areas and it's not always financial. But we are one body. And celebrate the life of Jesus. Uh, Sister Denise gave me a great idea. Uh, in Bible study, she said, uh, we used to buy a birthday cake and we would light it up on Christmas and sing happy birthday to Jesus. And that stuck with me because I've never thought about that. So, you know, for Christmas, my mom cooks. I, I don't cook, praise God. I go eat. That's it. I just go eat. I don't have to bring nothing if I want to. Glory be to God. Um, but we're going to go get a cake. And we're going to put candles on that cake. And we're going to sing and celebrate the life of Jesus. So I encourage you to celebrate the real reason of this season. And know that whatever you're going through. In this appointed time, it'll happen. Whatever you're waiting on God to do, in this appointed time, it'll happen. Don't be like Zachariah. But see, even while he had that spirit on him, he learned something. He learned how to not speak against the will of God. So, what happened when John the Baptist was born? Because John and John the Baptist was uh, conceived and then Jesus was conceived by Mary uh, a few months later. Um, but what happened when John the Baptist was born? And, uh, the people said, oh, no, he's supposed to be named after his father. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. And 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 they even went to Zechariah and said, uh, why is his name not Zechariah? Uh, what is his name supposed to be? And at the time, Zechariah couldn't speak because that spirit was still on him. But he wrote his name, John. And that spirit was lifted. See, when God needs to show us something, he has his ways. Because God will get his will done. And when there isn't an appointed time, God will make sure that it happens. So whatever is going on in your life, trust God and know that in its appointed time, it'll manifest. So we thank the Lord for you today, each and every one of you that have joined us in morning encouragement. I know that I am a little late. It has been a, a, a true struggle this morning, uh, but I made it. I said that I would do morning encouragement and I'm not a person who likes to back down from their word. Uh, so I came and I pray that something that I've said this morning that has encouraged you to know, just trust God. He's the reason for our season. Trust Jesus. He is the true reason and celebrate his life. Celebrate his life. The song says, take me to the king. Truth is, I'm tired. I'm tired of playing these games. I need a word. Lord, speak right now. Let it fall. Let it pour like rain. I'm desperate. I'm chasing after you. God is good. God is good. It, you know, when I come to do the morning encouragement, and, and I know uh, I'm not the only one of the three of us that do it, uh, it seems like it's such a weight uh, <laughs> when you come to give the word or to encourage the people of God. And as you begin to do it, it's like that weight begins to release itself. It's like something that is trying to hinder you from coming to uplift the people of God. But we have to have a made up mind. <clears throat> We have to be willing to do God's will in despite of, in despite of how you feel, in despite of what you see, because the people, this is not about us, people of God. It is about the kingdom. So we thank God today. So stay encouraged and remember to encourage someone today. Lift your head up, lift the head up and smile. Know that you matter, that you are important and that you mean something. So trust in the Lord and do good and know that ye shall always be fed and that ye shall dwell in the land forever. 
know that all things that they work for the good of those who love the Lord. Why? Because God causes all things to work for the good of those who love the Lord and who is called according to his purpose. That's that's that that's the prayer wall scripture. That's it right there. Romans 8, 28. That's it. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and God's righteousness. And in all things, acknowledge God and all of your ways, and he will direct your path. Be sober-minded, well-balanced, and vigilant in your spirit. Because that enemy of yours, the devil, he roams around like a fierce lion, and he's seeking for someone to devour. He doesn't have you. He's seeking. So just continue. I... Uh, as I begin uh, to quote those four scriptures, uh, the first one is Psalms 37, 3, trust in the Lord and do good. But Psalms 37, 1 says, fret not yourself of evildoers. Fret means don't worry. God is in control. You just keep praying. You just keep doing what you're supposed to do. And God will work everything out in your favor. The song says, sooner or later, it will work in my favor because he's turning it around for me. I look at how that worked out. We were talking about the turnaround. Glory be to God. Um, him. Who's him? Jesus. H-I-M-M. He is molding me. We pray. We P-R-A-Y. We prioritize righteousness around you. We're hashtagging addicted to Jesus. We bought that Jesus life. We stay ready so we don't have to get ready. We chucking up them deuces to Satan. Why? Because Satan got to go. You got to pack all his bags, everything that he bought to weigh us down, to stop us, to hinder us. He has to go take all of that stuff. Why? Because we ain't scared. I am B-A-D. I am bad. I am blessed and delivered. We're rocking with the best. J-E-S-U-S. They play checkers. We play chess. We're strategic in how we serve the Lord. Tighten up. We live a life of prosperity. We're hashtagging. We are restored. Pump your brakes. Use me, Lord, for your glory. Stop being extra. You cannot be healed from what you do not reveal. You are what you answer to. So if they're not calling you a child of God and they're calling you anything else. Now, when you know you're walking right with God and being obedient, don't you answer to that stuff. We don't shake, we shift. We pray together, we praise together with kingdom for life. Don't say it, just pray it. Don't compromise who and what you are in Christ for anyone or anything. And God will bring you out without a doubt. Trust God even when you cannot trace him. Bless morning, Sister Stephanie. God bless you. Uh, we will not bow to anyone or anything but Jesus. And we will get over we're not living in a pandemic. We're living in a shift demic. Stay in your lane. Your lane is Jesus, I trust you. Not why me, God. I know I find myself saying that too. Lord, why me, Jesus? But I got to remember to stay in my lane. My lane is God, I trust you. We're worshipers, baby. Free worshipers. We're CEOs. We are conquering every opposition. We stay ready so we do not have to get ready. I say that twice because I have it written twice. That means we got to stay ready. This is for real. And uh, we will not be moved. We're serious about this journey, about this walk. And uh, you cannot evangelize and antagonize at the same time. It is that time of the morning where we get super excited because this is our anthem. This is who we are. This is what we live by. And, and we get so excited to say this. We kingdom, baby. We kingdom, we kingdom, we kingdom, we kingdom. We kingdom, baby. And we walk under kingdom authority. We walk with a kingdom mentality and know that we kingdom, baby. God bless each and every one of you for joining this morning. I pray that there's something that I've said to you that has encouraged you to trust in God and know that the joy of the Lord is your strength. I wish each and every one of you a Merry Christmas from Restoration at the Well and Family Meeting Ministries. We say to you, Merry Christmas. Have a wonderful and very blessed day with your family. Love on one another and know that Jesus is the reason for this season. God bless you. Uh, we still want to announce about our church launch. It will be January the 15th. Uh, we will be sharing the flyer. Uh, please go visit our website, uh, restorationatthewell.org. There you can subscribe to receive uh, newsletters, 
uh, that we send out. Uh, you can also download our, our church app in your Google Play Store or your Apple Play Store and connect with us uh, so you can know all the upcoming events. We thank God for what he's doing. God has truly blessed us in this year. We have a few more days to go. I believe it's seven, actually. Look at that. God's perfect number. But we're grateful because this truly has been the year of the new thing. God stepped up and showed out and, and, and he blew our minds. That's just what we've been decreeing and declaring. So we thank God for each and every one of you. God bless you. If you like to sow, the information is in the comments. Um, I don't know if the cash app is there, but it's dollar sign FMMINC07. Uh, God bless you. And know that we wish you a wonderful and Merry Christmas and a joyful day in the Lord. Have a blessed day, people of God. And go with God and know that God, he goes with you. I love you. Have a blessed day.